The movie starts by introducing Nick, a student at MIT who is paralyzed in his legs. He is in a relationship with Haley, and they are close friends with another student named Jonah. The three of them are attending the same college, and they are currently on a trip to accompany Haley to California, where she will be staying temporarily for a year. Haley's decision will surely affect her relationship with Nick, but he chooses not to discuss it and remains silent instead of arguing with his girlfriend. One morning in their hotel room, Nick wakes up early to the sound of his phone ringing. He finds a mysterious message from someone called Nomad. Nick wakes up Jonah and tells him about Nomad causing trouble again, then sends an email in response. They don't know who Nomad is, but they remember him as a hacker who once claimed to have hacked into the MIT server network and scrambled personal files that almost got them expelled from campus. When Nick is about to reply, Nomad sends an email with a video recording from Haley's laptop webcam, which startles them. Nick decides to trace Nomad's IP address with Jonah's help and discovers that Nomad is in a small town called Goodspring, where they are coincidentally headed. Along the way, Nomad sends another message, this time a picture showing their car caught by a red light CCTV as if mocking the three MIT students. Haley suggests ignoring Nomad, thinking he just wants attention, but Nick and Jonah believe Nomad might have a specific motive. At a gas station, Nick accidentally spills his drink, and though Jonah and Haley try to help, Nick prefers to handle it alone. Haley understands that Nick doesn't like to be helped, despite his shortcomings. But Nick's attitude makes Haley feel guilty for not understanding his independence. After Nick got Jonah a new drink, he noticed Haley sitting alone, lost in thought. He understood she felt guilty about leaving him behind. Nick believed his disability would only hold Haley back from her dreams, so he was willing to let her go if it meant her happiness. But Haley, who didn't want their relationship to end, argued that Nick was giving up too easily. She cried, feeling he was only concerned about himself. Haley then took off the necklace Nick gave her and threw it away. Nick's concerns were valid since he had limitations, and Haley could easily find someone else. However, he realized he was also ungrateful, as Haley had accepted him for who he was. As evening approached, Jonah informed that they were nearing their destination. They found an empty building in a garden, suspected to be where Nomad was hiding. Nick and Jonah went in while Haley waited in the car. But after searching the house, they found no signs of anyone living there for a long time. Suddenly, they heard Haley scream for help. Rushing back to the car, they found Haley missing, and the car radio was playing randomly. Shortly after, they were ambushed by some mysterious individuals and taken to a hidden place. When Nick woke up, he found himself in a wheelchair, being escorted to a room by a man named Damon. Damon explained that he was a transition leader whose job was to help Nick understand what was happening to him. He inquired about how Nick first encountered the signal which indirectly led to contact with EBE, an extraterrestrial biological entity. Nick, confused, questioned why he was in a wheelchair and why Damon was wearing unusual clothing. Damon clarified that the attire was hazard suits meant to shield them from potential alien contamination. Shortly after, Nick was escorted to his room to rest and noticed strange numbers written on his hand. Later, he was taken to another empty room where he accidentally saw Haley lying unconscious. When he asked to meet her, Damon refused, explaining that Haley was in a coma. Shortly after, Nick began to suspect that Damon was studying him. Damon asked peculiar questions such as whether Nick had ten fingers and whether Nick was from Earth, and since when he received strange signals or mysterious messages that led him to this place revealing that they were in a forbidden zone known only to a few. Nick mentioned Nomad, the one who had been bothering him, leading him and Jonah to this place. Damon then showed them a video where they spotted an alien figure observing them. This revelation puzzled Nick, sparking questions about their connection to the extraterrestrial being. Not long after, 
Damon returned Nick to his room, where he unexpectedly heard Jonah's voice through the ventilation shaft. Jonah informed him that they were confined for fear of contamination and hinted at something mysterious happening in the facility. Shortly after Jonah's voice vanished, Nick returned to Damon to inquire about the stopped clocks, all showing 12.30. However, Damon dismissed it as a mere malfunction. Damon then conducted a complicated test on Nick, and he showcased his intellect as a MIT student, impressing Damon. Nick insisted on seeing Haley and Damon allowed it. Unfortunately, Haley was still in a coma, so it was pointless for Nick to meet his girlfriend. Damon then assured Nick they would arrange a meeting once she woke up, urging him to let her rest. Back in his room, Nick devised a plan, crushing biscuits into powder to reveal which numbers were pressed on the lock. He shared his progress with Jonah through the ventilation shaft, seeking assistance in deciphering the password combinations. They deduced the code 7521. Jonah expressed feeling unwell, suspecting exposure to something hazardous in the facility. Determined to leave, he vanished again. Meanwhile, Damon and the researchers observed a cow's reaction to mysterious music in a control room. Suddenly, the lights went out and a chair was thrown towards them. Instantly, an alarm sounded, indicating that something had breached the facility's security protocol. Frightened, the researchers sought refuge in a nearby room. After the chaos settled, Nick noticed fresh scratches on the walls, suggesting an attack had occurred. He questioned Damon about the incident and Jonah's whereabouts, accused the place as a secret facility that the government had hidden to conduct forbidden experiments on innocent people. However, Damon told him that his friend named Jonah had never been in this place. Hearing this, Nick couldn't believe it because he had been talking to his friend through the air vents. Seeing Nick confused and tired, Damon immediately escorted him back to his room. Not long after, Damon went to Nick's room, but Nick had disappeared. Damon then found a piece of paper containing scribbled passwords along with a sketch of the facility's rooms. All this time, Nick had secretly been studying every corner of the rooms during the interview sessions. Even Nick was able to remember every second of the researchers' activities in the hallway. When they were not paying attention, Nick entered Haley's room and tried to take her out. Unfortunately, when Nick reached the last door, Damon found him, sedated him, and took him to the treatment room. In his unconscious, Nick dreamed of running in a marathon. But in the middle of the race, his legs were injured, leaving him disabled for life. Upon waking, he saw Haley beside him, now awake. Haley said she had just had a beautiful dream. But shortly after, Haley closed her eyes again. Nick screamed trying to wake her up, but the researchers asked him to remain calm. To his shock, Nick discovered robotic legs attached to his body, allowing him to stand and walk. Damon explained through the intercom that they were trying to help Nick due to his difficult situation. Despite Damon's instructions to remain calm, Nick refused and used his new legs to break the door and rescue Haley. Along the corridor, none of the researchers could stop Nick. Everyone was knocked down. Nick then entered the elevator to leave the facility. Eventually, Damon caught up with him and asked Nick to calm down. Damon explained that what they did to his legs was solely to save Nick. Damon also warned that it was very dangerous up there and he could only protect Nick when he was inside the facility. However, Nick didn't care, then closed the elevator and went up to the surface. Upon reaching the surface, Nick and Haley wandered through a dark, narrow corridor, hiding the facility from the outside world. Luckily, an elderly woman named Mirabel offered them a ride. Nick requested to be taken to the nearest gas station, but Mirabel rambled oddly during the journey. Despite this, she dropped them off at the gas station. Nick then asked Haley to wait by a truck while he sought help inside. However, the people inside stared at Nick because the news reported an escaped patient who could be contaminated. Unaware, a man named James watched them and kidnapped Haley. Nick chased them, but James pushed him down. I got the truck! Get off me! Uh. 
As James focused on Nick, Haley grabbed his gun and demanded him to stop the truck. After that, they'd both use the truck to continue their journey. Meanwhile, Damon brought Mirabelle to the facility like he did with Nick. He questioned her, but she continued to ramble on, much like when she met Nick. Later, blood came from Mirabelle's nose, indicating infection. Damon seemed uninterested in her and deemed her as a useless subject, then killed her. During their journey, Nick halted the truck at a wide canyon, forcing them to turn back. They stumbled upon an empty building and decided to rest. Inside, Nick found a non-functional telephone and an uninformative map, all paths leading back to the canyon, isolating them. With no leads, they opted to spend the night there. That night, as they were about to rest, Nick heard footsteps approaching them. Nick and Haley hid but accidentally encountered Jonah wearing a hazard suit. Meanwhile, Damon and his men visited James's house. Damon inquired about Nick and Haley, but James resisted, leading to his demise. While Haley slept, Nick and Jonah discovered a chip implanted in her back, indicating manipulation by the researchers, similar to Jonah's robotic arm. Jonah revealed numbers on his hand, which was 23,000, 541. According to Jonah, the numbers were not an identifier, but the sum total of this area, which added up to 51. There was a possibility that this place was Area 51, where the government had been hiding alien life, and this fact was clarified after seeing what they had done to Nick and Jonah. So, the only way out was to leave this place as quickly and as far as they could. The following day, the trio took the only remaining road. However, they encountered armed forces and barriers blocking their path. Jonah urged Nick and Haley to hide while he confronted the soldiers alone. Despite his robotic arm, Jonah struggled against the armed forces. Nick intervened, but Jonah insisted they escape. Using his arm, Jonah destroyed the barriers, allowing them to flee. From a distance, Nick spotting a bridge, he then noticed Damon and the forces ahead. Ignoring the danger, Nick attempted to breach the blockade, resulting in a shootout causing their truck to crash. Nick and Haley sustained severe injuries. Before losing consciousness, Haley returned Nick's necklace as researchers took Haley away in a helicopter, Damon revealed Nick's true nature that he is a fusion of human and alien technology, and this was their greatest achievement so far. Accidentally, Nick saw Damon's nickname on his shirt, which when read backward became Nomad. Nick finally realized that Damon was the one who had intentionally sent strange messages to them all along. Damon shifted blame onto Nick and Jonah, as they had the choice to ignore it but in the end, they chose to pursue it. Fueled by rage and despair, Nick's legs glowed red, granting him superhuman strength. He broke through the blockade, but when he reached the middle of the bridge, Nick crashed into an invisible wall, which led him to a dark and mysterious room. Damon approached Nick and removed his protective helmet, revealing that he was not human, but an alien. Nick then realized they were inside a massive spaceship resembling half the size of Earth. And where Nick was now was just the surface, while underneath the ship was a modern city made to resemble Earth as closely as possible. Nick finally grasped that they were abducted by aliens for research, unaware that they had left Earth. The row of numbers 23,541 was clearly written at the end of the spaceship, which was most likely the identity of the spaceship. The rumbling sound echoing in the sky earlier might have been a sign that the spaceship had reached Earth, and finally, the movie ended. Moral lesson from the story, always double check your messages, or you might end up accidentally inviting aliens to crash your road trip and turning your legs into superpowers. <laughs>